वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल रेस्पेक्ट एजुकेशन हाई हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेलसी एक्सरसाइज वन पॉइंट टू इन चैप्टर नंबर वन दैट इज इंटीजर्स सो लेट इज रीड द क्वेश्चन नंबर वन दैट इज राइट डाउन a pair of integers whose so here three bits are given so the first a bit is sum a is minus 7 so write down a pair of integers whose sum a is minus 7 so here it is given sum sum means plus so plus is always right side that means for plus for sum that is addition we have to go always the right side now let us take for example minus 14 our target is to reach minus 7 so let us count the distance between minus 7 and minus 14 it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 Six and seven, so minus four minus fourteen plus seven is equal to minus seven. See here, your tar our target is to reach minus seven, and we are at minus fourteen. So we have to go plus seven steps to reach minus seven. Now let us see another pair. Now, for example, let us take minus thirteen, and our target is to reach minus seven. So let's count minus twelve. That is one, two, three, four, five, six. So minus thirteen plus six minus thirteen plus six is equal to minus seven. Now let us take another example. Suppose we are at minus twelve, and we have to reach minus seven. So minus seven is our target. So my minus eleven. That is one. Two, three, four, and five. So minus twelve plus five is equal to minus seven. We have reached our target. Now let us take another example. That is minus ten. So we are at minus ten, and we have to reach minus seven. So how many steps? One, two, three. So we have to travel three steps. To reach minus seven. Therefore, these are the pairs whose sum is minus seven. So let us read the pairs. That is minus fourteen plus seven is equal to minus seven. See here. And minus thirteen plus six is minus seven. See here, minus seven. And minus twelve plus five is minus seven. Minus ten plus three is also minus seven. Therefore, they are four pairs. See a minus fourteen seven or minus thirteen six or minus twelve five or minus ten and three etc. So we have so many pairs to get minus seven. Okay, friends. Okay, friends. Now let us see B bit. Difference is minus ten. That is, write down a pair of integers whose difference is minus ten. So, as we have seen that sum is plus, therefore difference is minus. Minus means left side. As sum is right side, minus is left side. So. Suppose we have one, and the target is to reach minus ten. So for minus, we have to move left side. That is, let us count the numbers from one. Suppose I have taken one. Okay. So zero. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So one minus. Eleven is equal to minus ten. 
Now let us take another example. So 1 over here is minus 2. So minus 2, we have to reach minus 10. That is the target. So let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So minus 2 minus of plus 8 is equal to minus 10. We have reached the target. We have got two pairs. One is 1 minus 11 is equal to minus 10. And the other is minus 2 minus of plus 8 is equal to minus 10. Now, third pair. Actually, we need to find only one pair. But let us see four pairs. Now, the next pair is now minus 2 over so minus 4. Our next pair is minus 4. Our target is to reach minus 10. Always our target is minus 10. Okay. So, minus 4 is minus 5. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, minus 4 minus 6 is equal to minus 10. We have reached our target. So, this is a pair. Now, let us see fourth pair. Minus 5. Our next example is minus 5. That pair. So, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7, minus 8, minus 9, minus 10. So, 5. So, minus 5, minus 5 is equal to minus 10. So, the required integers, okay, pairs, is 1, comma, minus 11, or minus 2 and 8, or minus 4 and 6, or minus 5 and 5. So, we can write so many pairs like this on writing, we get so many pairs. So, this is the answer of first problem, Bibit. Okay, friends, now let us see C bit. Sum is equal to 0. See, here, as we read in the first question, that is, write down a pair of integers whose sum is equal to 0. This is the full sentence. Now, this is a number line and we have to write four pairs. So let us take some examples that is minus 2 plus 2. So if we are at minus 2, we have to take plus 2 to get 0. Because both the integers are equal distance from 0. See here 1 and 2. So here 2 units. 1 and 2 here 2 numbers. So 2 numbers, 2 numbers. So it is equal distance. So minus 2 and plus 2 is equal to 0. See here both the integers will be at equal distance from the 0. So if there are it equal distances, we can take it as 0. Now minus 3 plus 3. See here 1, 2, 3 and here positive side 1, 2, 3. So there is equal distance from 0. So it is minus 3, sum means plus. So minus 3 plus 3 is equal to 0. Or we can either cancel them. Cancel minus 3 plus 3. Minus 2 plus 2. We can cancel them, we get 0. Now let us see third pair. Okay, now let us take minus 4. Minus 4 is 1, 2, 3, 4. And 1, 2, 3, 4. So, they, this is an equal distance from 0. 4, 4. It is an equal distance from 0. So, minus 4 plus 4 is equal to 0. Or we can cancel them. Minus 4 plus 4 get cancelled. And it is 0. Now, let us take another pair. Minus 6. From 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, minus 6 and 6 have equal distance from 0. So, minus 6 plus 6 is equal to 0. Or both of them get cancelled. Yeah, now let's read the sentence here. Both the integers will be at equal distance from the 0. Same numbers with different symbols. Okay, friends. Now it is required integers are we need to take one pair of integers but we have four pairs of integers. We can write any one of them. 
So here minus 2 and 2 is one of the pairs or minus 3 and plus 3 is one of the pairs or minus 4 and 4 or minus 6 and 6 etc. We have so many pairs like minus 100 and 100. Both of them have equal relations from 0. So minus 100 and 100 get cancelled. Either we can do like that also. So with this, the problem number 1 gets completed friends. Is it clear friends? Okay friends, now let us see question number 2. A bit. Write a pair of negative integers whose difference is minus 8. The required integer should be negative and the difference also should be 8. As we have seen in the earlier question, that is the first question, difference is equal to minus. And minus is left side. Okay. So here, this is a number line. See here, number line. And we have to get the difference 8. That means we have to move left side. Now I am going to start with minus 1. Even you can, even you can take 0, no problem. So minus 1, let us, take, let us move 8 steps. 8 steps moving towards left. Why are we moving towards left? Because it is minus. Minus means difference. The difference should be 8. So let's move 8 steps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So from minus 1, 8 steps, we get minus 9. Required pair of negative integers are minus 1 and minus 9. How do we get minus 9? Because we are moving 8 steps. Here it is our difference. So we are moving towards left side. So by moving towards left side from minus 1, we get minus 9. So required pair of negative integers are minus 1 and minus 9. Since minus 1, minus, minus is difference here, you can see minus. Since minus 1, minus of minus 9 is equal to minus 1 plus 9. See a minus into minus is plus. So minus 1 minus into minus that is plus. Minus 1 plus 9 is equal to 8. So we have, we have reached the target that is 8. So we have to move 8 steps and the required negative integers are minus 1 and minus 9. Is it clear friends? Okay friends now let us see Bibit. Write a negative integer and a positive integer whose sum is minus 5. Required integers are one is negative and the other one is positive. See a negative integer and a positive integer. And their sum should be minus 5. Sum means plus. Plus means we have to move right side. So here is the number line. Yes. For example, let us select minus 9 as a negative integer. See a minus 9. I have selected it as negative integer. And in order to reach minus 5, in order to reach minus 5, move 4 steps towards right. See here friends. We have to reach minus 5. So we, uh, we should not count. So in order to reach minus 5, we should not count these steps. Okay. So here minus 9, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay friends. There is no target of steps. But there is a target of reaching an integer that is minus 5. So minus 9, 1, 2, 3, 4. We reach minus 5. So minus 9 plus 4 we have moved towards right so it is plus 4 is equal to minus 5 so minus 9 plus 4 is equal to minus 5 therefore the integers are minus 9 and plus 4 is it clear friends okay friends now let us see see bit 
राइट अ नेगेटिव इंटीजर एंड अ पॉजिटिव इंटीजर हुज डिफरेंस इज माइनस थ्री एज वी ए नेगेटिव एंड अ पॉजिटिव इंटीजर एंड द डिफरेंस शुड बी माइनस थ्री एज वी नो डिफरेंस इज इक्वल टू माइनस माइनस मीन्स वी हैव टू लिव मूव टू वर्ड्स लेफ्ट साइड so now here yeah this is a number line and here also there is a no target of steps but there is a target of reaching an integer that is minus 3 okay for example let us select minus 1 as negative integer and in order to reach minus 3 move two steps towards left see here i have selected minus 1 as negative integer and in order to reach minus 3 move two steps left is it right so we have to move two steps towards left to reach minus 3 so minus 1 minus 2 see a minus difference so minus 1 minus 2 as we are moving left side so here is minus minus 1 minus 2 is equal to minus 3 therefore the integers are minus 1 and 2 minus 1 and plus 2 is it clear friends Okay friends this is question number 3 In a quiz team A scored minus 40 10 0 and team B scored 10 0 minus 40 in three successive rounds Which team scored more can we say that we can add integers in any in any order Okay this is the scoreboard See here you can see team A and team B. So minus forty, ten, and zero. This is the score of team A. Ten, zero, and minus forty. This is the score of team B. So the total score, the, the total score, that is team A's total score is minus forty plus ten plus zero, is equal to minus forty. See here. Ten plus zero is ten. So minus forty plus ten is minus thirty. Now let us count this the score of team B total score. So ten plus zero plus minus forty that is see here. Ten plus zero is ten minus forty. Ten minus forty is equal to minus thirty. Clearly, both the teams scored the same that is minus thirty. So. we can say that the integers can be added in any order see here which team scored more both the teams scored same and can we say that the integers can be added in any order yes we can say that they can be added in any order is it clear friends okay friends now let us see question number 4 fill in the blanks to make the following statements true Minus five plus minus eight is equal to minus eight plus dash. We know that the integers can be added in any order, as we saw in third problem. The integers can be added in any order. Okay, so minus five plus minus eight is equal to minus eight plus minus five. Okay, the answer is minus five. So this problem can be solved in another way. Let us cancel minus eight and minus eight here. They are simple change me else right. So which is left here minus five. Therefore the answer is minus five. Easy friends. Okay friends, this is bit number two. Minus fifty three plus dash is equal to minus fifty three. Since zero is the additive identity. See here, since zero is the additive identity, a plus zero is equal to a. A plus zero is equal to a. Since zero is the additive identity, a plus zero is equal to a. Therefore, answer is zero. And we can solve this in another method. Minus fifty three and minus fifty three get cancelled. So what is left? Zero. Clear, friends? Okay, friends. Now let us see third bit. Seventeen plus dash is equal to zero. 
since minus 17 is the additive inverse of 17. So here a plus minus a is equal to 0. Okay friends, 17 plus dash is equal to 0 since seven minus 17 is the additive inverse of 17. Okay, additive inverse is a plus minus j is equal to 0. Okay friends, so here it is minus 17. And the easy way is, let us cancel 17 and minus 17. Here we get 0. So the 17 is the correct answer. Okay friends, now let us see question number 4. 13 plus minus 12 plus dash is equal to 13 plus minus 12 plus se minus 7. Since ad addition is associative for integers, that is a plus b plus c is equal to a plus b plus c. This is the associative properties law. So here the answer is minus 7. And the easy way for solving this problem is to cancel 13 and 13. Minus 12 and minus 12. So what is left here? Minus 7. That is the answer. Is it, is it clear friends? Now let us see fifth bit. Minus 4 plus 15 plus minus 3 is equal to minus 4 plus 15 plus dash. Since addition is associated for integers, that is a plus b plus c is equal to a plus b plus c. So here a plus b plus c is equal to a plus b plus c. What is c here? Minus 3. Minus 3 is c here. So this answer is minus 3. The easy way. Plus 15, plus 15, cancel. Minus 4, minus 4, cancel. What's left here? Minus 3. So this is the answer. Is it clear, friends? So with this fourth problem and Excel 1.2, both get completed. If you feel this video is helpful to you, Please like, share and subscribe our channel and please do not forget to press the bell button so that you will get the notifications from our channel. Thank you very much.